Welcome YouTube, this is Radio Like Chorus and today I'm going to be reacting to some Reverse 1999 version 1.2 trailers and stuff. Um, yeah. Um, I guess like at the moment of me recording this, they now have three videos up. So we're going to be reacting to three videos at once. Let's see if we can combine it to one video. If y'all enjoy um, this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more from both me and Dahlia as well as seeing more Reverse 1999 content. Um, yeah, but without further ado, I'm going to start with the first one, which is the version um, 1.2 trailer, uh, A Nightmare at Green Lake. Okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> I guess this is the horror patch. That was a night in 1971. A night with pouring rain. In that rain, the communication center of Zeno lost contact with the Green Lake campsite. But wasn't it a story? I am kind of attracted indeed. Of course, of course. Staying here is really not a wise choice for you. It's our rights to stay here. You can't just expel us. Someone is passing messages to us through these notes. We have been with a butcher whose identity is unknown to all of us. <laughs> like the story of Xeno Youth Force. We are in real danger now. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of... I don't like that. <laughs> Blonnie! Blonnie! Stop playing hide-and-seek! This is not funny! The critters are multiplying. Things are getting worse. There she goes! The future means growing up. That's the means one. Keep falling. I've been waiting for two fairy. Into new life. Looks so amazing. <laughs> and change lane, hopefully. Hopefully, she'll come out. To me? It's okay. I will be fine with it. As long as we're together, this is the first time I'm hearing her voice. On which end of the <sighs> Go away! Stop bugging me! All right, the party's over. Thank you for cleaning up the room and washing those mugs and glasses. I have another round to catch. Clouds. We are trapped in this haunted castle. Suddenly, someone knocks at the door. Knock, knock. Mm. Oh, yeah, these are the skins. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 we got character stories. Okay, I pause, I pause after. Auto combat? UTC. Hopefully I'll be able to do more in that game mode. Oh. No matter if we find him or not, we'll come back in five minutes. What if you don't? If we don't come back, please evacuate the whole campsite and contact rescue. Mm. 
So in this one, Verton's gonna be in the story this time. Um, but yeah, I wasn't able to. I only did some of the U UTTC of the last patch. Um, and I, for the most of the part, I had to do most of the events. Um, I did not record of the last patch. Um, just because I was behind. But this time, I'm hoping that I will be able to like rec record some more stuff when it comes to this patch. Hopefully I'll be able to, um, we call it, um, uh, complete the UTT, UTTU <laughs> this time around. I did play some, some of it though, so I, I kind of have an understanding of how it works. And let's see what they're saying here. Are they giving us sign-in rewards and up to 14? Okay, that's nice. That certainly will help me out if I want if I want to get Tooth Fairy and hopefully change the link, hopefully. Um, but my main priority is on um, Tooth Fairy. Auto combat. What to unlock? Auto combat. I don't know how that's gonna look because from the auto combat we already have, you know. So that'll be interesting to look into. But if it's more helpful, then we'll. Help um quick in my time grinding that will help out a lot uh camping safety guide and that's an uh, event yeah a two for a two another event yeah this one was i look at character story two fairy character story the old two teeth and the worn marks and then Jessica's character story. I love the name Jessica, by the way. <laughs> it's a pretty name. Um, one flew over the old house. I'm really excited about this patch. Really excited. This was like my most anticipated um, patch since the game first launched. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll look at the outfits later, but I think there's a video for it. On to the next video. This one is the garments trailer. So this one should show all the skins or the, that's going to be in this patch. Now, whether or not I'm going to buy any skins from this patch, I don't know. It's still debatable. But it's still nice to look at the things we don't have <laughs> or can't have. And of course, it would help if I obviously played the volume. Good evening. Please rest early. It's always right to have a regular. I think this is the free skin? For Eagle? It's so cute. <laughs> Schedule. I'm here. Do you need my help? Red Rum. <laughs> A new X scan, I see. Please. It changed. It changed a little bit. It changed the teapot and the, the circles. I think became like octagonal. I think that's what the difference is. Secrets always hide in careless words. Listen carefully. I think this is the battle pass skin for Beacorn Bloom. It's pretty. <laughs> I'm not good at dealing with visitors. It reminds me of something bad. I don't know her all, so I don't know if anything changed. I don't think it did though, since it's a battle pass skin. And there she goes. The rule of a world. B. Beast. Of course, this is gonna be a paid skin. Obviously, I'm pissed off at it. Not like like very pissed off about it, but you know what it is. I love Sutter B. <laughs> also, like the spooky hoof of the underworld. I wish this was the battle pass skin, honestly. But I think this one's gonna have like I think more detail. I think maybe. The, let me see. Better be deep in the curtains. I got it. 
It must be the nightmare galloping away. Did it change? Huh? The engine? What is that? I don't know if it changed. Well, all in all, I think those are some good rounds of skins for, I think, for the first, um, second event patch. Um, yeah, I think the one I'm most excited for is that I'm glad that Eagle's getting a skin, right? I mean, like, that's like the, that's like the, I forgot what star she is. I think she's like a four star or a three star. Might be a four star, um, character, but she, she doesn't get another skin if you like, I think like evolve her. I don't know why I'm saying involve when you like basically ascend her. Um, so it's really nice that she gets the skin. I know a lot of people have probably put their resources into her. I know I did, so uh, especially if you want to complete certain levels. Um, uh, that's nice. Uh, Sutterby's outfit amazing, I think it's pretty, it's amazing, it's pretty good. X's outfit is pretty good too. If you're an X person, I know a lot of people ain't X people. <laughs> and then Bicorn Blooms is is nice. It's about Pasquia. So. I think like for me personally though, I think it's like wait, let me go back. There we go. It reminds me of something back. Truth behind the deep red. I guess because it's like a horror theme, I don't understand where this reference is coming from. So I'm a little confused behind that. Is she just dressed like like an office worker? Unless she's supposed to be like the protagonist that like that you know witnessed the horrors. You know what I mean? At least like I think like Sutterby's on doesn't really match either when it comes to the horror theme, except for like the blood. I think that's right there. Uh but other than that. Yeah, I think this is a good round of skins, and uh, but am I going to be able to purchase any of them? I don't think so. <laughs> but I would love to get this skin. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? Other than that, let's move on to my most anticipated trailer, and it has the Two Fairy trailer. Okay, now we're back, and we're going to be watching the Two Fairy trailer, the in-betweens. So I don't don't know what I'm expecting. It seems like it's only a 55 second video. But anything with two fairy in it is good enough for me. So <laughs> but for the do let's start. Is it that nothing would work for this injury? It's barely possible to save his life with any human medical treatments. But I do have a better idea. Mm? How does Tooth Fairy treat you guys? Don't worry. The whole process will be quick, complete, and painless. Along with the sweetness of plums. Good kid. Just take it. The so-called arcane therapy is to eat these damn things? No matter how you can, just pretend to be human. It will not change your crazy stupid arcane genes in your bones and blood! I have some drugs for humans. Do you want to try? Oh, she's so sinister. Well, she she seems sinister. <laughs> Let me just put it like that. I don't think she's sinister. But she seems very what? sinister. <laughs> I have some drugs. I don't know what to, what to, what to expect from Two Fairy Man. <laughs> Like, I love her design and everything. She get like, it's like this patch. Like, her and Changeling gives me, like, um, horror fantasy vibes. Like, um, Tim Burton and stuff like that. So, it's good enough already that I would automatically already, um, think that the whole game kind of gives storybook vibes, you know? Like, very fairy tale-esque looking characters. At least the way how the art style looks. Um, but now it's like, this one is, um, so now this is like giving off like eerie Tim Burton vibes and that's why I really want both from um, Two Fairy and Changeling because they both <laughs> it's like kind of like that kind of stuff but I'm really hoping for Two Fairy she just looks so 
scary. And I can't wait to delve into her story. <laughs> I hope it's really good. I hope this patch has a really good story, you know, in it. Um, the Rhythmic Cup, I was, it was good. It was like, it wasn't the best for me, but that's me personally, you know what I mean? Um, but hopefully, I think, hopefully this patch, I think, steps it up a little bit when it comes to story. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what else will be offered in this patch. Um, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to be recording this event, but it's going to, like, obviously, I'm going to still, like, upload, like, the rest of the story, like, slowly but surely. And then, like, in the in-betweens, you'll see, that like, I'm already vastly ahead because, obviously, I'm way ahead than what I initially already uploaded. <laughs> and I've been grinding, so I do have enough wishes that I could possibly get to her if she comes out. <laughs> but, yeah, without further ado, she's just so creepy, so eerie looking, you know what I mean? It's just that these was like the braces. I don't understand. I don't know if they like. I've never seen braces like these, so it's just like it's throwing me off. Looking therapy is to eat the but she's so cool. She's so cool. <laughs> I don't know if she eats fairies or not. That's the question. I remember I'm show, I was showing Dot's Dahlia like um this picture right here, and she was like, "Is she eating a fairy?" And I was like, well, I never liked Tinkerbell, so it's, so, it's okay. It's mutual. It's, mu <laughs> it's mutual. <laughs> it's, you know, she does what she got to do, I guess. But other than that, um, I really am hoping, I'm really looking forward to this 1.2 patch. And um, yeah, it'll be coming out real soon. And I hope you all have a nice day. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below so that you can see um, so that we could all be enjoying the 1.2 patch together. Um, yeah, that's my recording. And I'll be seeing y'all real soon for the 1.2 patch. Bye!